This is my first rocket and I got it about two days ago and I'm still working on building it. But, so I got everything out sorted, but now I just have to build it and it goes 800 feet or 244 meters in the air once I launch it. I have a launch control and a, a pad. So the stuff that we need is an X-Acto knife, plastic, uh, plastic glue and sandpaper. So where I got this is a place called Hobbies and they have drones, they have um, RCs and they are so nice. You should, if you're into drones or anything like this, you should go check it out. Going. We are going to go and launch my rocket. We are going to try because the sun is setting very quickly. So I am very excited and even if we don't, we can try tomorrow night. Yeah? Yes. And how many rockets have you launched? I've never launched a rocket. This is my first, first rocket of all time. I am very excited to launch it. And my dad has been a great help and I want to thank him so much for helping build it because I've never done it without him, ever. Thank you. How was your first rocket building experience? <laughs> it, they're not easy, that's for sure. <laughs> rocket science. Boom. There's our sunset. We're trying to beat the sunset. Go! Whoa, there's two. Beautiful sunset. We're happy. Well, Kenya, my rocket. Kenya. Um, this is why they have the string, so it doesn't have a parachute. It just falls into pieces. Yeah, this rocket is like a a silly rocket. What are you hoping happens? Um, goes up as high as 800 feet. And comes and down. Comes down very safely and doesn't snap. Should we all stand back by the red box? Okay, Lincoln. You want to launch it? Absolutely. How do we do this? Now the way we do this is this is the launch key. Okay. Okay. Go forward. Okay. Okay. We're gonna put this in here. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, it's perfect, right there, see it? Wow! I can't get it. Oh my goodness, wow. watch out, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I don't touch it, it's hot! Yeah. Hey buddy, how did it go? Wow! That, talk about, what is that, 10 feet maybe? It came, went up, it came down! <laughs> 
this is amazing. Your first rocket, and it went straight up, and it came right here. Yeah, I saw the fire. So not too. very far. And look at the sunset you have. All right, guys, it is the day before the 4th of July, and um, we are very excited about all the activities that go on here. We have a lot of tradition that we used to do when we were in Illinois with the kids. We used to go to a parade in the morning and then fireworks at night, hang out during the day and just grill. And then also when I was a kid, um, there were so many memories uh, as well as things that we would have going on at my house and then granny would be in the kitchen all day cooking. One of my memories was granny every 4th of July would make homemade vanilla ice cream and this chocolate Texas sheet cake as we called it. And this chocolate cake was at all the special occasions that happened around my house when I was growing up. It was the go-to birthday cake that was always made for all of us. It was always done on the 4th of July. Um, um, just many special occasions we uh, would have this chocolate sheet cake. So I'm going to share that recipe with you today and I'm also going to share you a homemade ice cream recipe. It is one of the favorite things that we like to do around here, especially in the summer. Today's recipe, however, is going to have a twist on it. It is not my grandmother's recipe. I am still looking for that and trying to find that. But the recipe today is actually homemade dairy-free ice cream. The reason why it's dairy-free is with Lincoln, we're having to switch over to a really strict non-dairy diet. So we um, actually found some really good ideas how to get this done, and I'm excited to show you. So the first thing that we're gonna start with today is the ice cream. And the reason being is because um, that is, it's gonna have to sit there and churn in your ice cream maker for at least four hours. And on the homemade ice cream that we've made before, I've found a lot of good recipes on the internet. There's so many different ways that you can do ice cream. A lot of them is you get half and half and heavy whipping cream. You add some sugar. Some recipes even have eggs in it and you, uh, uh, simmer it on the stove you don't quite bring it to a boil but today's recipe um, I'm really excited to share something with you that I found our local um, farmers market here in Parker is awesome and we were down there one day and one of the booths was a young man he I would say he's about 11 or 12 years old and his siblings have come up with this company and it is pre-made ice cream mix and all you have to do is add the wet ingredients and guys this is absolutely amazing i'm going to put a link to his website um, in the description below you guys can order online they also have a whole bunch of recipes there that's where i found out how to do the dairy free option for this ice cream but we just got the simple vanilla ice cream starter kit and guys, it only has three ingredients in it. It's organic. And all you have to do is add the coconut milk like we're gonna use. So I am going to post the non-dairy ice cream recipe in the description below as well, along with the website for this. It's called Cone Ice Cream Starter and it's spelled K-O-N-E. So we're excited to try this one. So here we go with some dairy-free ice cream. The first thing that we have to do is get, you wanna get your ice cream um, maker set up. And the ice cream maker that we actually have, I've had for quite a few years now, and I will find it and put a link for it in the description below as well. But it is called the original Aroma Ice Cream Maker. And so the first thing you wanna do is whatever your ice cream maker is, you wanna get it kinda of set up and ready to go. If your ice cream maker um, calls for ice cream salt or rock salt, that is this right here. So we're gonna get this set up and then start on our recipe. All right guys, so for this dairy-free ice cream recipe, the ingredients that we are using is the cone ice cream starter, the vanilla, cone ice cream starter kit three cups organic nut milk and i unsweetened nut milk we use cashew milk because luke sometimes reacts to almonds three cups full fat coconut milk that comes in the can and what we're gonna do is combine these all into a mixing bowl mix 
the ingredients together really well and then put it in our ice cream maker. So once we're done mixing the ice cream starter kit, coconut milk and cashew milk, um, all you do is put it in your ice cream maker canister and then put it in your ice cream maker. This makes two quarts of ice cream. So this is the point where we're gonna put the canister that has our ice cream mix into our ice cream maker. And I have Lincoln here, he's gonna help me. I need you to hold that straight. Okay. And now this is where we're gonna put the layers of ice and rock salt around the ice cream canister. This is gonna be very cold. So the goal is to do a layer of ice, a layer of rock salt, a layer of ice, and you'll have to follow your directions on your ice cream maker, but on this one I have a small fill line that I have to get it to. for about 30 minutes and that's what it said on the ice cream mix and so it's done what we're gonna do is take it out of the canister and I've got a small container that holds homemade ice cream and we're gonna transfer that to the freezer so let's take a look and see how yummy this looks oh yeah that's great so we're gonna get this out of the canister into our container and it's ready for tomorrow I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make homemade dairy-free ice cream. Once again, guys, check out the links in the description below for the ice cream mix that we used, and you can use regular dairy with it as well. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.